Measuring cups. These are the measuring cups we use in the kitchen, okay? This is a liquid measuring cup. It's made of plastic, although the ones you have at home may actually be glass, and that's okay. One side, it may be hard to see. I'm gonna kind of zoom up a little bit here and zoom over in my basement. This is in milliliters. I'm trying to show you. 100 milliliters, also known as one liter. On the flip side, usually it's in red, although this the color will wear off over time. You got four cups, one quart, 32 ounces, all right? That is your setup for this size measuring cup. They make every different size measuring cup imaginable. Um, here is eight ounces, also known as one cup. Here are two cups, also known as 16 ounces. Here are three cups, also known as 24 ounces. And then finally four cups, 32 ounces, also known as one quart. We'll get into a little more measuring. This is the um, imperial system that we use here in the United States. Most of the, re of the world uses the metric system and you're familiar with the metric system through biology or chemistry or one of your science classes. Um, but liquids are what get measured in this cup. Liquids and liquids only. Um, all dry ingredients get measured in these measuring cups, which are known as dry measuring cups or just they get the name measuring cups, okay? I used mine for a demo earlier today, so there's a little bit of brown sugar in there, but I assure you, other than that, and some flour, they're clean. So these come in four different sizes, standard, all right? Standard size for these four are one cup, half cup, one third cup, and one fourth cup. Seeing that, you can get a better sense of the size when I bring the camera down to show you actually what we have. And I'll come down a little bit lower and show you what we're working with here for sizes and cups. <clears throat> this is your, excuse me, your one cup. It's gonna be listed on the handle, one cup. This is your half cup listed on the handle, half cup, your one third cup. Listed on the handle, one third. And last but not least, the smallest cup is your one fourth cup, listed right there on the handle also. And they go in descending order in size. And when we package them up in the kitchen, our space saving, that's how we keep them in our cabinets there at my house. And that's how we keep them in the kitchen at school. These are only for dry ingredients, for flour, for sugar, for brown sugar, for oats, for chocolate chips. Um, those are primarily the big, big ones. Um, anything that is like a salt or a baking soda or a baking powder, <clears throat> excuse me, those get measured in measuring spoons. And I used these spoons for a demo earlier today. Other than that, they're clean. And the spoons come attached and they come apart, but I'm gonna leave mine attached and they come in four sizes, okay? Mine are a little bit out of order and a little bit backwards, but I'm gonna break it down for you. You have one tablespoon, which is the largest one, okay? After that, you have one teaspoon, again, written on the handle, a little bit smaller, just to show you the size difference between a tablespoon and a teaspoon. It's a pretty, pretty significant size difference, all right? In terms of the amount, it's the same thickness here but it is much bigger for the tablespoon than it is for the teaspoon, okay? After that, we have one half teaspoon and we have one fourth teaspoon, all right? They come in a set of four. You can measure anything, any ingredient with teaspoons. You can measure salt, you can measure baking soda, you can measure baking powder, you can measure water, you can measure vanilla extract, you can measure cinnamon, cumin, coriander, allspice, pretty much any liquid or dry ingredient can get measured with these measuring spoons. Now, with larger <clears throat> recipes, sometimes we have to scale ingredients, which means we have to weigh out ingredients for accuracy. 